This is a quick e-portfolio tip for students that are using iPads to create content. iBooks is a great place to store stuff, and as well as storing EPUBs or iBooks, you can also save PDFs to the iBook bookshelf. You may have documents that you've created in pages, numbers, keynotes, any sort of app that allows you to export as a PDF. Now you might have a document that you're done working on and it's ready to be saved as part of your ePortfolio. If you convert this to a PDF, it can be stored in a collection in iBooks. To do so, we're going to take advantage of the share and print email document feature. Now we can choose what format we'd like to email this document in and I will select PDF. The PDF will be generated and it'll be thrown into an email and I will go ahead and email it to myself. So what I've done is I've exported or moved a copy of this document out of Pages. The editable version still lives in Pages, but I'm creating sort of a, a collection of completed works in iBooks. After a moment, the email will be sent and then received by yourself. Go ahead and touch the document to bring it down into your local memory. If you touch and hold the attachment, you get some options of places that you can open this document. I'm going to select iBooks. In somewhere between 2 seconds and 10 minutes, iBooks will open itself. The document will load into iBooks and open. I now have a PDF version of the document that I created saved locally in iBooks. And if I like, I can even edit this and select the things that I've created and move them to a special collection, which could be my ePortfolio. Last cool feature here. Because this is a PDF, I have the option to send it on or print it from directly in iBooks. This gives me one place to go to find materials that I am proud of, that I've completed, that are part of my digital portfolio that I may send on to an advisor, a family member, or someone else that I'd like to share the work with.